Hello, let's draw a six-sided regular star polygon. As you can see in the video, we have the six vertices of a regular hexagon, which is a convex polygon. When drawing convex polygons, you have to join adjacent vertices. But when drawing star polygons, we have to join non-adjacent vertices. So the first step is we are going to draw a regular hexagon. There are two methods to draw regular hexagons. One method is by knowing the length of one side. The regular hexagon is the only regular polygon that the side is equal to the radius of its circumscribed circle. Let's start by drawing a straight horizontal line at the bottom of our page. So now, on the left side of this line, we are going to mark A. Now we are going to set our compass to the given length and transport this length to our line, setting our compass on point A, and scribing an arc to form point B, as can be seen here on the video. So now we have our line segment AB, which will be the base of our hexagon, and we will highlight it with a thicker line. The next step, with our compass set on point A and a radius AB, we draw an arc to the left as can be seen here in the video. Now, with our compass set on point B, we will draw another arc to the left. We scribe an arc to the right, which will intersect our previously drawn arc at point zero. Up to this point, we have followed the exact same steps to draw an equilateral triangle given the length of one side. But in this case, the top vertices of our triangle is going to be the center point of the circumference we are going to circumscribe our hexagon. As can be seen from the video, the radius has the same length as the given side of the hexagon. To continue, using the given measurement of the side, which is the same as the radius of the circle. Setting our compass on point B, we will scribe an arc to the right to cut the circle, which will be the next vertices of our hexagon. Now, setting our compass on this point, we will scribe another arc, which will be the fourth vertices of the hexagon. We continue marking our vertices by setting the compass on the previous vertices as shown here. Describe our second last vertices. So if I'm working with accuracy, the final point should join exactly with the first point A, as shown here in the video. So once we have obtained these six vertices, we will continue to step two, which is to draw our order two star hexagon skipping one vertex at a time. So as you can see here in the video, we will join vertex A to C, skipping vertex B, from C to E, skipping vertex D, and from E back to A, skipping vertex F. As you can see here, now we need to lift our pencil because we haven't gone through all the points. So we will start again from F to B, skipping vertex A. This also tells us that it is a degenerate star polygon, which is formed by two equilateral triangles. So here we have B to D, skipping vertex C. And finally, we will complete our equilateral triangle by joining vertex D to F, skipping vertex E. So here we have our Star of David, or the six-pointed Jewish star. So by pressing the following link, it shows you how to draw regular star-shaped polygons with any number of sides, and it also explains their mathematical theory. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.